Do you believe that there are some in this area? Oh, definitely. The myths surrounding some movies are so strong that it can be difficult to separate fact from fiction. Stick your cock up her ass, you mother worthless cocksucker. Be silent! Oh. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie production urban legends. For this list, we're looking at films with famous urban legends attached to them, even if the legends were ultimately solved or proven true or false. He's on a hoverboard! <laughs> Number 10, Death in the Chariot Race, Ben-Hur. The ancients enjoyed watching vicious forms of entertainment, like chariot racing, where the possibility of death was extremely high. This danger didn't subside in modern times, according to this urban legend, which claims that a stuntman actually died during the iconic chariot race scene in Ben-Hur. And the scene was left in the film against the wishes of the stuntman's widow. This legend may have been spawned from the 1925 silent film Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, when a stuntman did die during the filming of the chariot scene. Number 9. The Little Mermaid's Cover, The Little Mermaid Have you lost your senses completely? He's a human! You're a mermaid! I don't care! What is it with Disney and subliminal messaging? Don't underestimate the importance of a body language! <laughs> After The Little Mermaid was released on VHS, controversy arose when it was noticed that a castle spire on the cover bore an unmistakable resemblance to a penis. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me! The artist who designed the cover didn't work for Disney, however, and the particular illustration of the castle also appeared in other theatrical promotional materials. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Wow, cool. It wasn't intentional. Castle spires just happened to conjure up phallic imagery. Just to be safe, though, the object was removed from the cover when the film was re-released. Nice work, boys. That was a close one. Number 8. Ghost of a Boy, Three Men and a Baby Well, where is she? What's scarier than three men raising a baby? Ghosts. Maybe. Oh, you won't believe this. In Three Men and a Baby, a mysterious figure said to be the ghost of a boy who committed suicide with a shotgun in the same house where the film was being shot can be seen in the background behind the curtains. <laughs> For a moment there, I had her laughing. Yeah, just like me, huh? This creepy legend was dismissed when it was discovered that the figure was actually a cardboard cutout of Ted Danson's character and was used as a prop for a storyline that was eventually cut out of the movie. Why? Number seven, take off your clothes, Aladdin. Princess Jasmine? Ooh. Disney earns another spot on our list with its 1992 hit, Aladdin. It's me, Prince Ali. <clears throat> uh, Prince Ali Ababwa. While visiting Jasmine on her balcony, Aladdin is attacked by her tiger. I do not want to see you. No, no, please, please, Princess, give me a chance. Just leave me alone. Down, okay. He then says a line that people claim was, good teenagers take off your clothes. On, good. <laughs> Disney was criticized for promoting teenage promiscuity. But the film's directors disputed the claim, saying that the line was never said and wouldn't have made the final cut if it was. No, I guess not. The line is actually, good tiger, take off and go. We'll let you decide which one you think is correct. One, good. <laughs> Number six, real documentary, The Blair Witch Project. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Movies are supposed to create the illusion of reality. But what happens if we can't figure out what is real and what is fake? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me get my jeans on. Take the video camera. No, get the dot ready. According to this urban legend, the 1999 horror hit, The Blair Witch Project, was actually found footage from three student filmmakers 
who were doing a project on the Blair Witch legend. The woods around Halloween time is a creepy enough phenomenon. I don't Just think, tell me a little I don't want to go about... cheesy. I want to really avoid any cheese. Artisan Entertainment, the film's distributor, used it to their advantage by promoting that the film was actually a documentary. <laughs> the three student filmmakers turned out to be young actors who are still alive and well. I love you, Mom. And Dad. I'm so sorry. Number five, Shirley Eaton's alleged death. Goldfinger. Jill? Who could forget when James Bond discovered Jill Masterson's lifeless body on the bed, painted in gold? It was rumored at the time that actress Shirley Eaton actually died while filming that scene, because the paint covered and clogged all of her pores, preventing her from breathing. While we now know that the body does not breathe through the skin, the filmmakers took precautions while filming. Hello, Felix. Get over here right away. Eaton wasn't completely naked in the scene, and a six-inch square of skin on her abdomen was left unpainted. The girl's dead. Think? Uh, Masters, Jill Masters. And she's covered in paint. Gold paint. Number four, the Superman curse, the Superman franchise. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Yes, it's Superman, strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. It's a lot of work portraying the most powerful man in the world, especially when there's a curse involved. Maybe I can knock it off its course. According to this urban legend, the role of Superman is cursed. The most notable victims are George Reeves, who starred in Adventures of Superman on television and died of a gunshot wound to his head, the circumstances of which are still disputed. They should be arrested. Some of them have been, Lois. And Christopher Reeve, who starred in four theatrical films before he was paralyzed in a 1995 horseback riding accident and died nine years later at 52. Uh, good night. Oh, good night. Number three, Stanley Kubrick directed the moon landing, The Shining. Here's Johnny! <laughs> this urban legend claims that Stanley Kubrick filmed the fake Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969 and confessed to it in The Shining. I'm very confused. <laughs> I just need a chance to think things over. This idea is expanded on in detail in the critically acclaimed documentary Room 237. At about 58 minutes in the film is the famous scene where Danny's playing with his trucks and he stands up and he's wearing the Apollo 11 sweater with a rocket taking off. Some clues include Danny Torrance's sweater with the Apollo 11 space shuttle on it, the Overlook Hotel's carpet pattern resembling the Apollo launching pad, and Kubrick changing the haunted hotel room number from 217 in the novel to 237, which supposedly coincides with the 237,000 miles between Earth and the Moon. Mom, are you in there? Number two, the Poltergeist Curse, the Poltergeist franchise. They're here. While many horror film franchises are said to be cursed, the original Poltergeist trilogy is by far the most famous. No more. Four cast members died in the half a dozen years between the releases of the three films, including 22-year-old Dominic Dunn, who played Dana Freeling, oh, brother. and 12-year-old Heather O'Rourke, who played Carol Ann Freeling. Dunn was murdered by her ex-boyfriend, while O'Rourke died during acute bowel obstruction surgery. The fact that real skeletons were used as props added to the urban legend's survival. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The power of Christ compels you. That the power of Christ compels you. I just went through a red light. <sighs> I need to bore you. Hoverboard. Number one, Munchkin Suicide, The Wizard of Oz. As mayor of the Munchkin City, in the county of the land of Oz, I welcome you 
Most regally. But the alleged Munchkin suicide in the 1939 classic The Wizard of Oz is one of the most famous urban legends of all time. We wish to welcome you to Munchkin Land. As Dorothy, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow head down the yellow brick road, you can see what looks like a figure hanging by the neck in the background. We don't see the the wonderful wizard of Oz. Here he is, the wizard of a wizard, ever a wizard of Oz. Legend has it that a Munchkin actor killed himself after he was rejected by a Munchkin actress. But if you please, what are Munchkins? The little people who live in this land, it's Munchkin land, and you are their national heroine, my dear. While it certainly looks like a person hanging from a rope behind a prop tree, it's actually a large, exotic bird that was rented for the scene. If ever, ever a wizard wants the Wizard of Oz is one, because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite movie production urban legend? For more compelling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It won't cost much, just your voice.